Hi guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, so this is video two of three for the sprocket. So this time uh, we've already actually, the video one was the plan. Video two, we're going to do the section. We're going to draw this. And then the next video we'll annotate and get these dimensions on here. So uh, with that being said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the center line over. So we get that. And then uh, we'll start up here and start drawing down. But we're going to use projection lines. Remember to project everything over. Because we already have the dimensions. So you need to really do things twice for us. So, yeah, we're going to start up here and work our way down. So what we know is this little arc here is 4. Now remember the top of this is 189. So it's really at the top of this. And then we're just going to project lines over. Like that dark line is the bottom of that tooth. This little shoulder here is this line. Where this isn't cut out at, that means there's a hole there, which is here. So we're going to project that over. Okay? So we're just going to project lines over. So, with that being said, we're going to copy this. Copy that. Okay? And then that said that radius was 4, right? For that top little sprocket. So we're going to type in 4. Okay, so we got that. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to change to projection lines and use ray. Okay, ray should be at the top of the circle. Okay, I'm going to project that over, and then I'm just going to go down so far. Okay, I'm going to go to here for that. Okay, so we know we have that circle right here. I'm going to go with a radius six or four. Okay, I'm going to bring this down to here because that's the top of our circle, right? So we got to make sure we get everything on the correct layers visible. We want now. We're just going to use match properties. That's the property I want. I want to click the ones that I want to change. So I'm going to use trim. I'm going to trim from up here. Here. Get those little lines. And then get that little line. Okay, so we got all that. So we now have that. But now we got to get to this next width, which is 12. So we're going to offset that. 6. Okay. Now I'm going to, I already know what this is for, so I don't need that anymore. I am going to change my layer to visible. I'm going to draw this line here. And this is my shoulder here, so I'm going to draw that. I'm going to use my match properties to see what I want, or to make sure I'm getting things at the right layer. So I don't need that anymore. I don't need that anymore. So I'm going to trim that. Trim that. I'm going to trim between here. And I'm going to trim these lines. Okay. Now this over here told me that there was a radius of 1. Okay. So fill it. Radius. 1. Okay. So we got that. Okay. Now we come down here, we have the hole cut and across here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this line. Oh, I'm going to use the command trim. Pick this one and this one. Use my crossing window. I'm going to use my match properties. Okay, so now I got that hole drawn there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip down to here. Okay, now this little sprocket we know is the same because this is a circle. So this tooth here, that tooth there. So I'm just going to mirror this, this part and this part. Uh, this is going to stick out a little bit, but we know it's 20. Okay, sound good? Okay. So we're going to go to here, 
we're going to mirror. I picked my objects already. Use this as my mirror line because that's the center line. And we're going to also offset this line. It said the width was 20, so we're going to go to 10. Offset the center line, center line. Okay, I'm on visible. I'm going to use the line command. Or, nope, I have lines here. Never mind. Go here. Here. Okay, so I'm going to use my fillet and change my radius to zero because we want a 90 degree corner there. Okay. There we go. Then I'm going to use my match properties. Get this on the right layer. So now we have some lines. We could really get rid of some things here, huh? Got lines crossing over each other. So with that being said, I'm going to project this line over and this line over. Okay. So it looks like I already have the one already done. Projection. Draw. Ray. Right there. And I'm going to project the hole over too. A while. Okay. So. This circle tells us it is 30 wide, so that's 15. Then we have to offset off the center line. So it's 10, so let's go 15. So there's a couple things we can do here. So we can uh, fill it, fill it. I've got my radius of zero, right? Zero. There. We go there. We are going to go here and here. Now let's do our match property. So we know that's part of the object. That's part of the object. Oh, oops, so is this. So if we're looking, we see all these lines coming past. So if we look at this, the 12 stops here. And the 20 stops here for this width of this object, the width of these objects. So I'm going to trim them back. Going, 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 going. Okay, and then that should be the hole, correct? Not much space there, is there? <laughs> Between uh, that object there. Okay, so let's trim that. Using my crossing window, using my match properties. Okay. Boy, that went quick, didn't it? Okay, so right now we know we have these radius of three and three. And we've got to get rid of this line here because we want to hatch at that line that comes across here. So, uh, let's use trim. And then we'll use our fillet with a radius of three. Fillet, radius of three. Fillet, radius of three. Okay. So let's look what we have. Okay, so we got to get this circle. Okay. Now notice when we cut through this circle here, we cut down here. But we're also cutting through this key, so we're seeing this line beyond, which is this right here. Okay, so we need to project one, two, three points over. Uh, we'll go back to Ray. So we're going to project one. Two. Three points over. Okay. So we're going to use the trim command again. We're going to use our match properties. Look at that. Sweet. And now we got to draw our screws. 
So the way we know what these screws are, they said they're 19 and 6 by 1. So that just tells you what the screw is and all. Um, so this is going to be 19 deep. Um, and it's, I think it's like, oh, there, it's a 5-inch diameter. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to AutoCAD. There we go. Okay. Uh, we're going to go with Reagan top of that circle, the top of this circle, okay, now I'm just going to mirror things, so I'm just going to draw this once, so obviously I'm going to trim this, I'm going to trim this, now it was 19 deep, uh, yes, so 19, there we go. So, we got that, that, and then what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line. So, we know this is 5, so we need this on a 45, which I believe, I'm just going to do this the easy way, 2.5 and 2.5. The reason why is, if this is 5, that's, if this whole line is 5, obviously from here to here is 2.5, so go up 2.5 there, 2. so we get a 45 that way. A quick easy way, um, and then we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna trim this. There you go, and then we're gonna do our match properties. And then I'm going to mirror this off the center line of this. Okay, Oop, get rid of that line. So, and then I want to project some center lines over for the circles that we're cutting through. Okay. I'm going to project some of these over. I'm just going to hide that a little bit. I'm just going to draw a line right here. Just a random line, random distance. I'm going to go to trim. You know what? I'm going to mirror this line. Mirror this. I'm going to go to trim. I'm going to use my crossing. I'm going to get rid of those lines. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my match property. I'm going to select the center lines and go straight down there. So now I have all my center lines on here that need to be shown. Okay, uh, yes, so this is going to be the conclusion of video two of three for the sprocket. Video number three will be the annotation and the hatching. Thank you.